Hello everybody and welcome. This is Toby from Tommy Expert Group here on Facebook. Um, I thought today I make a little video about a little hack I use for years now, but I uh, uh, realized that it never uh, came up as a tip or something. Um, it's about cutting Tamir chassis and modify Tamir chassis and how to close gaps and um, also how uh, you can restore worn out or ripped out tabs, uh, screw tabs in the Tamiya plastics. There are uh, some possible ways to solve these problems uh, out there, but um, because of a discussion we had uh, recently in one of the groups, uh, I realized that uh, the method I use uh, never was mentioned, so I thought I make a little video about this. So, how uh, do I do this? This is how the chassis looks on the side where I cut it. It's for a actual project. And yes, yeah, you can see here are some serious gaps left from the cutting that I want to close. I did this on this side already. It's not sanded yet. And perhaps I have to make uh, another layer on there, but shoot like this when it's finished. So how do I do that? Um, f to do that you uh, have uh, to save plastic from the uh, sprue trees or what I use at the moment is the cutted parts from the chassis. So where do I start with this? All starts with sanding uh, the chassis. This is a 100 uh, grit sandpaper. And what it's all about is uh, you need that powder from sanding the plastics. Um, I tried different grits and um, I came to the point that a 100 grit produces a powder that is quite good for this uh, purpose. So I get my powder. Put it all together. And then there are these little plastic shot glasses that are perfect for this. Put some of that powder in there. And then you take some very thin CA glue and put it in there, just a few drops. And then you have to stir that. Where is my, you see, spontaneous videos. Uh, does not always go as planned, but it's live and uh, that's no problem. So, let's take this one. Needs more of the glue. And um, what, what happens now is 
that the CA glue melts the plastic and you get a very firm solution of the plastic with the CA glue. It's a paste I would say. And that's the thickness we want, like toothpaste. And now we can use this like kind of bondo and fill our gaps with this. What you also can do is do this process directly on the piece you are working on, especially for areas like this with one open side. You can mask it off have a closed area and then you can go on put your powder directly in there put the glue on there but careful it does not mix directly and then Work that all together. Needs more glue. Needs a bit of patience, a bit of time, but it works very well and produces absolutely strong and even surfaces on the plastic. And it does not cure this fast. So we have 10 to 20 minutes, it depends on the glue you, you are using, how fast it cures. And that's what it's all about. In the same way you handle worn out threads and some ear plastics, just give drops of that stuff in there and work it into the holes. So this is filled up and all you got to do now is to let that cure. Um, 
overnight is the best I would su uh, suggest and then you can tap a new hole and you're ready to go I hope it's a, it's a bit helpful and yeah have fun to try it out bye